everybody. It's a overcast day today. Um, how much I've got done, I have no idea. It's, uh, I've just set up the camera in the bedroom so that if the weather changes, I don't have to rush in and grab the camera, rush out, run around, grab the camera and besides my uh, tools. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, all will go well. Um, right, let's go down and uh, show you what we've done, or what I've done. Oh, I got a parcel. Uh, I'm bagging in a minute. I'm bagging a post bag. It's only one item, but uh, sorry about the squeaking. Now I have had a delivery of more screws because I ran out the other day. Is uh, generally marking out, measuring, and uh, hopefully we'll start get uh, cutting. Where do I uh, cut? I uh, use a hand saw because it's quieter than the electric saw, and also I get some much needed exercise. Right. Well, my friends, what do you think? It's taken about, including putting the weed membrane down, about four months, five months, but with the weed, weed, weed membrane down, to get to the stages I've got to here, has taken me in real time, because of weather stoppages, um, about two and a half weeks on my own. Um, I've had no help whatsoever, except from uh, all of you, who have helped me to buy the timber. You're flipping amazing. All of you. I, I just... Um, <laughs> I, I know some of your circumstances and uh, you're like me. If you had 50p in your pocket and somebody, a uh, old bloke or lady came up to you and said, have you got 50p for a cup of tea? You're given the 50p. Yeah. I'm the same. But uh, it's uh, nice and solid. 12 foot by 12 foot. This section over here is the window wall because that face is south. So someone coming that way. The slope of the roof is going to be like so. Um, I'm not worried about the uh, the gaps and that because I'm going to be building you know, like a window frame, but it's only going to be um, acrylic. Um, I think it's five mil acrylic. I've got uh, a sample of it upstairs, I'll uh, double check. Each of the joists here, um, they're all on hangers. And the, the main construction is doubled 4 by 2s um, There's a proper name for them, uh, to what I've done. But I just screwed them both sides together. They ain't going nowhere. 
uh, air across so the floor is absolutely solid. Um, I've got uh, floorboards in stock. Um, what I want to try and do is finish putting in the uprights. Then I'm going all the way around like this. Uh, there is a good reason for it. What I, what I intend to do is to do the um, flooring in the dry. I don't want to um, have to put floor down, cover it with a tarpaulin, take tarpaulin off, do a bit more, and then the weather changes. Is it, well, as you, as you know, when it starts raining, it starts raining, and you, you just haven't got the time to pull a tarpaulin over. So, um, what I'm doing is going to this height all the way around. There won't be any windows on those uh, two walls. There'll be a small one on this wall and uh, probably in the door. Uh, the door is uh, um, English American, I will call it. <laughs> I'll come to that in a minute. And uh, then once I've got all this all the way round, not here, I'm then going to um, put up uh, the um, roof plate. Is that what you call it? The bit that the roof sits on? Roof plate? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, the roof plate will be all the way round. And then I'm going to make up a um, basic structure uh, similar to this cross. Put it will overhang. And then once I've wrapped all of the lab in uh, plastic uh, vapour barrier, uh, it's not proper vapour barrier, it's just black plastic, but it's quite thick, uh, the roll of it's done now, as I'll show to you later. Um, oh yes, while I think about it, once I'm working out here again, I shall have the my Go GoPro, I shall have my GoPro camera, in my pocket. So if I'm going to be blocking the camera in the bedroom, then I will, uh, and I want to show you something, I will then um, use the GoPro to show it, and I'll stitch that into the video. Um, now, for all you keen-eyed ones, you'll notice that uh, My measuring is not very accurate, we'll put it that way, but I don't care. So long as it's near enough, that's good enough for me. I mean, I'm not building a, a skyscraper or anything like that, so uh, it'll go down uh, the way I want it to go down. I shall be using um, bubble wrap aluminium insulation. And uh, I've got all that organised. I've got the boards organised for the floor. Not all of them, but they'll get me across half, I think half the, half the floor. Uh, once I put the uh, wrap on, then with, on, the, um, on the cross piece I put on the top, cause just one screw in each, and that's it. Um, then the tarpaulin will go across from this height to the same height over there. It'll probably hang further than that, but that's, that's, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do then is I've got feather board and I'll 
clad to this height in featherboard all the way round and then uh, I can put the floor down because that way it'll be fairly water fairly watertight not not perfectly watertight because even though the plastic will be over here the plastic will be cut here where the door is going so that um, I can get in and out obviously uh, the door uh, I was telling you about is um, there'll be a wall committee here there'll be one of these uh, uprights here then we'll have a 27 inch door so the doorway is about 30 inches, something like that. And then this is where we get a removable upright. It will only be bolted in position, it won't be screwed in position. So it'll go in the same time the door goes in. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there will be what I'm calling the American door. It's going to be about a foot long, oh, sorry, wide, and uh, well, that's all door. <laughs> Oh, the first time I got on there. Right. Um, so that if I've got a, um, say I've got a, a trike, you know, a bicycle trike, and I want to wheel it in or wheel it out after assembling it, then I can open the main door, throw the bolts, take out the, the uh, support, and open the American bit which is attached to the door. And then I've got a big expanse so that I can run the um, trike or whatever the big piece is in and out. Um, that's so far the plan. But uh, last night, I was watching a... Um, Um, program on uh, on YouTube called um, Grand Designs in the, here in the UK, not the other versions. And this one couple had made a oh, hello, it's pussy cat. Good morning. How are you? I, I normally talk to myself, don't panic about it. <laughs> Looking at me though. You what? <laughs> okay. Um, and they used these concrete blocks in a herringbone fat pattern. So I thought, brilliant, solid, no rot, perfect. So what I'm going to do. Um, now I'm not worried about the levels here. Doing it this way is I'm going to do a border of blocks that will go right up to the um, edge of the uh, raised bed, which is now a raised weed garden. But I, I, my grandson will come and sort all that out for me. Excuse me. He'll be mobile in a yeah, easy a couple of months. Long story that one, but uh, yeah, he's okay. Right. Um, so that's it. Oh, also, when I put up um, one of these here, which is they will. Um, 
I'm going to, um, I'm saying I'm a lot, aren't I? Sorry about that. Um, oh God. <laughs> I'll start saying right. Right, so yeah, one of these uh, pieces will be here. And then I'll, I'll featherboard that as well, straight away. And then that will basically enclose it, and then on top of the cross piece that I put up, we'll go tarpaulin, and I'll use the bricks and some rope to anchor them down so they don't fly away, keep them taut. Um, we get some high winds, because just where I live, uh, the gardens are like a funnel for the wind. Um, the winds that come out of the, the north are terrible. Oh gee, I was saying that, the ones that come out of the south, the just as terrible. But there you go. Um, my apologies for not uh, doing any video in before, but I was dodging rain and um, I just wanted to get on and get the, the base down because that was uh, the hardest part for me because I had to keep on bending down. Um, I had a little stool I used to sit on, well I just still do sit on and do the bits and pieces. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be um, videoing a lot more from now on. I hope you uh, like that little tour and little update. Oh yes, I was going to show you that plastic one tonight. I've got to pull it out anyway, soon, so I might as well pull it out now. If you're a buyer of crash, I'm going to fall over. Right. It's a bent double, so uh, it'll go to the height. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see, it's quite thick. I mean, you can't see it very well, but uh, I'll give you some idea. I will try and uh, zoom in on these different things and put it in, enhance them and enhance them in the video. This is the uh, insulation I've got. I think it's 18 or 19 rolls of this. That's what they're going to like, straight down. We also done the first bit. I can, I'll, I'll be putting down one of the uh, boards as I go along so that um, pardon me so that um, once everything see the uh, one ring on the floor of the uh, insulation has gone down, the floor will be all boarded. Because I'm hoping to do one strip, half and half, so I, I think they're two feet, maybe three foot. But anyway, they'll be half, you know, folded in half. And the half will run along the bottom plate, and then the board will go on, screw down. 
because uh, I'm stapling the, um, I've got an electric stapler. I might be uh, stapling the uh, so that I can then pull boards down, screw them in there and move loft boards, nice and thick. And, um, so they'll be going down, they'll all mesh into each other and make them extra strong. I'm looking forward to doing it. Uh, the weather today is really overcast, thick cloud, but it's dry for quite a long time today. I think it's five o'clock they said that it, uh, it'd be raining. So I'll, uh, I've already just put this uh, mic facility on, my, on this particular camera because I can't find mine. So hopefully it's uh, in, uh, in the loop, as it were. I'm coming inside now to turn you off and see if I've done any, any decent videoing. a tape measure on the bench. I felt rain.